pleasure to introduce my colleague, uh, Mariana Bonanome. Uh, Mariana did uh, her PhD at CUNY Graduate Center, and she's now an uh, assistant professor at uh, New York City College of Technology, and she's going to speak about quantum algorithms for fixed points and invariant subgroups. Thank you. Thank you. Now we'll begin. <laughs> now you may begin. <laughs> So first of all, I'd like to thank you for inviting me to speak here today. And I'm very happy to be here with you. And uh, so today I'm going to pose three questions about finite groups and their automorphism groups. And I'll be proposing three algorithmic solutions to these questions. And so each algorithm is going to reference a modified quantum search procedure. And each one is doing so in a slightly different way. So we will be discussing that. And so we're going to begin with our group theoretic motivation. So let's let fix S denote the subset that consists of the elements of a free group, which are fixed by every element of the set S. And so now S can be S can consist of endomorphisms or it can consist of automorphisms. For this particular setup, this was our motivation, remember. And we call this fixed S, the fixed subgroup of S. Of S. Now remember, fix S, it consists of points of the group, elements of the group. And so in 2009, Ventura pr presented an algorithm which determines whether or not H, which is a subgroup of our free group F, is equal to fix S for some S, which is either a set of morphisms or endomorphisms. So in the affirmative case, where he finds that H is in fact equal to this fixed S, he provides the S. He provides the set of automorphisms or the set of endomorphisms. And so for our purposes, since we wanted to rely on quantum search procedures to help us solve this particular uh, version of the question, we had to reformulate it a little bit. We had to make sure that we were working with, first of all, a finite subgroup. And also, we had to make sure that our S was going to be finite as well. So we're working in a finite case. So this was our version. And so now we also opened it up to be any group. We didn't restrict ourselves to the free group. So if we let G be any group, and H is a subgroup of G, such that, again, H is finite, suppose we have a subgroup of the automorphism group of G, and again, A must be finite. So we provide a quantum algorithmic solution to the following question, which is a version of Ventura's question. Is H equal to fix S for some proper subset S of A? Okay. So A is finite, H is finite. We're asking this question. And in the, in the affirmative case, we actually provide S, which is the set of, in this case, automorphisms only. We're not concerned with endomorphisms. And here's another. Is H invariant under A? So here we're talking fixed element-wise, and here we're talking set-wise. Slightly different versions of the question. So this was our initial setup of motivation. And so we have some further, or, uh, further motivation. So again, we're concerned with these fixed points of automorphism. So if we have a group, and we have an automorphism of the group, we can ask whether that automorphism has fixed points. Namely, whether there exists some G sub i in the group such that alpha of G sub i is G sub i back again. So another problem that we looked at was this. Well, actually, it was motivated by this. So in certain circumstances, the automorphism group, the structure of the automorphism group has been shown to influence the structure of the group itself. Now I'm talking again in the finite case. 
So in particular, if you have an automorphism that's fixed point free, and you're working with a finite group, and if that fixed point free automorphism has a certain order, you can say something about the group itself. So there are a couple of results. And uh, Thompson did this, I believe it was in 60, 69. Well, I don't have it here. It was, it, it was in the 60s. And he said that if G is a finite group, so that its automorphism group contains a fixed point free automorphism, and that automorphism has a prime order, then the group itself must be no point. Now I can remind you what no point means if you wish. Shall I? I, I can say just verbally. Um, in a sense, you, you can view uh, the idea of nil potents as how far away the group is from being abelian. So nil potent of class one is abelian. Class two, in the, in the class two instance, we're moving further away from being abelian. So instead of group elements commuting, you have commutators commuting. So this is a, a way of measuring. And so we have another, another uh, further mo motivation that Gorenstein and Herstein showed that if G admits a fixed point free automorphism, specifically of order 4, then the group itself is solvable. And a group is solvable if it has a finite derived series, if it ends in finitely many steps. So here's our question. So remember, we've got to stick with the finite scenario. So we're going to let the group be finite, and we're going to let its automorphism group be finite. So we're going to answer the following question. Does the automorphism group of G admit a fixed point free automorphism? So we'll be able to answer that quantum algorithmically. So here are the quantum solutions that we propose. So the first algorithm, which I will go into some detail about, is called the list intersection algorithm. So if we have multiple unsorted lists and we let the elements originate from the same set, then uh, we allow for the list to contain repeated elements. And we want to just compute the intersection of these lists. We have a quantum way of doing this. And this is, I mentioned up front, this is uh, all joint mark with Stephen Maievich. <laughs> Remember, the Q1 was the question, is some subgroup equal to the fixed subgroup uh, for some proper subset of the automorphism group? So for Q1, we have this algorithm. I call it fixed algorithm 2 because we have two versions of the algorithm which solve it. I'm only going to present the second one here. So that's why you see the, the number 2 here. So it relies on a quantum search which fix, uh, for automorphisms, which fix a particular group element. And then once we do that, we use this list intersection algorithm that I'm going to give details about. about. And then in the, firm, in the affirmative case, just as Ventura's algorithm provided the set S, we will also provide the set S. Now remember, the second question uh, was concerned with whether a subgroup was uh, invariant under a particular subgroup of the automorphism group. So, we also have a vari variation of the quantum search procedure to answer that question. And then our last algorithm is called the fixed point free algorithm. And so remember, for Q3, we were just asking, does the automorphism group admit a fixed point free automorphism? And we just want to answer yes or no. And so our algorithm uses, uh, relies on a phase estimation algorithm which is able to give you the number of fixed points of an automorphism. 